Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so we're here today for our Derek graduation for the 2024 school year here at Pontiac Elementary. This event aims to permit the students who work hard for their 10 weeks. And without any further delay, I will allow, let me introduce our master of ceremony, Ms. Cynthia Chavez Hernandez. Bienvenidos todos a nuestro quinto de graduación. Welcome, family and friends, to our dear graduation. We hope everyone is doing well. Now we will have our welcome by Amina McDaniel. Greetings to all Pontiac Elementary Fifth Grade Day Graduation. We are thrilled to welcome Sheriff Wise, Sheriff Leon Wise, Dr. Peralta, Dr. Williams, Ms. Robbins, Ms. Jones, and our special guests. Today is a big deal for us as we have put in a lot of effort to earn our certificates. We cannot have done it without the incredible support from our teachers, parents, and the, and the community. We are learning to stand for what we believe in and be a positive influence to those around us. Let's continue to inspire others and make a, make a difference in this in our community. Followed by Brody Clark, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Initially implemented as a local initiative, DARE rapidly gained momentum throughout the 1980s. This program was conceived as an integral part of the United States War on Drugs. With its acronym representing Drug Abuse Resistance Education, over time the curriculum evolved to encompass a wide range of subjects, including lectures on the detrimental consequences of drug and alcohol abuse, effective methods to reject substance use, strategies to resist peer pressure, fostering self-esteem, enhancing communication skills, addressing employment, and establishing support networks. We extend our appreciation to Sheriff Block for utilizing the data decision making model to find success respond value to prevent the program from fading away in South Carolina. Thank you, Nico, for enlightening us about the origins of their Next, we will have our very own Pontiac step team perform, followed by Novea McKnight, who will introduce our guest speaker, Sheriff Long, Leon Long.
Harvard University John F. Kennedy School of Government. Sheriff Block started his law enforcement career at the Richland County Sheriff's Department in 1979. In 1993, Sheriff Block took the position of Chief of Police of St. Matthews, South Carolina. In 1996, he was elected Sheriff of Richland County. Sheriff Block is the commander of the South Carolina State Guard with the rank of Major General. Sheriff Block was also named in 2021 National Sheriff of the Year by the National Sheriff's Association and the 2021 South Carolina Sheriff of the Year. Sheriff Block received an honorary doctoral degree in public service from the University of South Carolina in December 2021. Sheriff Block, a member of the First Baptist Church of Columbia, is married and has four daughters. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Oh, we do better now. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. That's what I want to hear excitement now. Mr. Daniel, when she gave the welcome a little bit ago, she said this was a big deal. And it is a big deal because this is something that you earn. Nobody gave you that shirt. You had to earn that shirt you have on, right? You yes, sir. To, you had to go through the D.A.R.E. program and do all those lessons. And you learn how to make good decisions, right? Yes, yes, sir. So that's why this is a big deal. So before I talk to y'all a little bit, I want to talk to the parents and family members we got here. Thank y'all. Thank you so much for being here. You are demonstrating what a real parent's all about. Uh, two of the greatest gifts you can ever give your child doesn't come from a store. It comes from you. That's your time and your love. You know, they want you to love them. They want you to spend time with them. And the older they get, they may not say it, but they still want that. So they're always going to be your child. So always take care of them. Now, boys and girls, there's two words we don't ever use enough. Two very important, powerful words, and that is thank you. We don't thank people enough. So 
So I think we need to do some of that this morning. So uh, all y'all up on your feet. Come on, on your feet. Turn around, face the parents that we got here. And when I count to three, I want you to give them a great big thank you. One, two, three. Yeah. All right, don't sit down yet. There's another. No, stand up on your feet. There's another group we don't ever thank enough. That is our teacher. Find your teacher. When I count to three, I want you to tell your teacher. Thank you, all right? One, two, three. Yeah. We got one more. Uh oh, we got one more. Who taught you the dare program? tell your parents thank you and that you love them two two very simple things just say thank you and i love you that will mean the world to them do you buy the house that you live in do you pay for the food you eat do you buy the clothes you wear no your parents do your parents take care of you so don't forget that to make sure you tell them thank you and give them a big hug okay can you do that? Yes. yes. Come on now. Can y'all do that? Yes. Do that. And I bet if you do that, they'll buy you something later on too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's let's talk about the Dare program a minute. The Dare program taught you how to make good decisions, right? Yes. Life is about making decisions. Every day you have to make decisions. Some days are easy decisions. You had to decide this morning. What kind of shoes you're going to wear? That probably wasn't that hard, was it? No. But you're going to be faced with making decisions about violence and guns and drugs and gangs and all that stuff. Those are hard decisions, but they're really not. They're easy decisions if you use the dare decision-making model. And you all know what that is, don't you? Yes. You know how to make a good decision. You know how to think about it, define it, assess it, respond Anyway, you know how to do all of that. That that means you can make a good, intelligent decision about all the hard things you're going to have to decide in life. So I'm not worried about you. Every one of y'all know how to make a good decision. But I need you to do something else. I need you to be a teacher. I need you to be a teacher. And it's real easy. You be a teacher by being a good role model. Somebody in this school is watching every one of you every single day. It might be a first grader, second grader, you don't know, but they're watching you. And if they see that you're making bad decisions, what does that tell that first grader? Make bad decisions. But if you're a great role model and you're making good decisions, what does that tell that first or second grader? Right. You're already a teacher. You're already a role model, and you probably don't even know it. So don't ever forget that you can save somebody's life by being a great role model. That is how you teach other people to do it. Now, that shirt you have on, you earned that shirt. Nobody just gave it to you. So that makes that shirt very special. So when you wear that shirt, wear it with pride because you earned it. But also use that shirt to tell other people about the D.A.R.E. program. There may be somebody else who doesn't know what that stands for. And they see you got that shirt on. They ask you, and you can tell them what the DARE program is, about how to make good decisions. Guess what? You're a teacher when you do that. And that doesn't have to be somebody younger than you. That could be some, an adult. You can do it. I know you can do it. You're the generation that's going to make sure that all the violence has gone away. You're the generation that's going to do it because you're the generation that knows how to make good decisions. So I want to do something that y'all did just a minute ago, and that is say a great big thank you to you because we're all very proud of you. 
So one, two, three. Thank you! Thank you. Wow, what an incredible performance by our staff team and a heartfelt message delivered by Sheriff Law. Let's give him another of a wrong. <laughs> now it's time for what we have all been eagerly waiting for. Deputy Chairman will tell us the class essay winner and the overall dare essay winner who will have the honor of reading their essay. Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So are y'all excited? Yeah. yeah. I'll get Sheriff Lott and Master Deputy Danner to stand up here, please. They're going to be handing out the awards again to our essay winner and the overall essay winner. So from Dr. Adams' class, we have Adriana. Next, we have Declan Kwam. <laughs> Next, from Ms. Perez class, we'll have Annabella Kim. Followed by Ms. Ryan's class, Ariana Gray. <laughs> Ms. Morgan's class, Travis Sheffield. Salos class, Jaden Hilton. Ms. Dion's class, Abigail Scales. <laughs> now, we still have one more award. The overall essay winner was Jaden Hilton.
place where you can learn something about drug and alcohol. Can a drug drugs can it affect your body to turn your environment to educate you about drugs and alcohol? But some ways people abuse them. There is not just a teaching of drugs and alcohol, but bullying shows some harm. It also teaches you how to be stressed and afford bullying safety. It, uh, that you can probably have a new efficient way from our friends. Here are some skills we can learn in there. First off, you can learn how to deal with our friends and how not to abuse them. We learn many different things, such as the effects of drugs and alcohol on the mind and body. Experience and learning through their program enabled me to prepare myself for the best of the conditions when faced with challenges, such as peer pressure, communication styles, and leadership skills. Among friends and reject, rejecting drugs and alcohol, one important aspect uh, that I learned is about peer pressure and when it comes comes to me, uh, I learned that I have, I have choices and know it's okay to say no to situations that are dangerous or wrong. I also learned that three types of communication styles, which are unsure, confident, and demanding. The best communication style is confidence because you are representing a situation knowing the rights to know and to avoid problems. Confidence leads to leadership skills among friends, which I learned about in there. When you have leadership skills among your friends, you are helping to lead your friends down the right path by showing positive examples or avoiding being a follower. Having leadership skills among friends is important as we grow into teenagers because you attract good friends groups and less like to get in harmful situations that involve drugs and alcohol. All these factors ultimately help young people to say no and reject drugs and alcohol. But simplest phrase is just remember, say no. There was such a wonderful experience and it was amazing for me because I look forward to it every single Wednesday and enjoy learning during every session. But there's some events that represent my favorite parts of the week. I really enjoyed the parts we had to act out different scenarios in your class. Role playing for our class was a great way to make my films come to life. And always remember that DARE stands for Drug Abuse Resistance education and the their program is also being taught to make good decisions, avoid violence, and most importantly be drug free for a successful future. And before you go outside, remember, please don't take anything from strangers. <laughs>
Dr. Adams class, please stand. When your name is called, please come to the front. Matthew Avila Duran. Cornell Phillips. Ishmael Carvalho. Tristan Cooper. London Davis Goodwin. Adriana Dukes. Orion Fluker. Nevaeh Gooden. Aiden Hilton. Kaylee Holmes. Taylor Javis. Ryan Jones. Kira Keaton. Joseph Lee. Jordan Lewis. Alasia Lowry. Azavion Manny. Kelvin Parker. Diane, Diana Reed. Kinsley Robertson. Yafri Rodriguez. Bailey Santiago. Madison Trapp. And Marie Wallace. Ms. Hawkins class, please stand. Make no way, give them just a second. Mason Britton. Fletcher Howard. Brielle James. Stanton Presley. Declan Kwong. Maya Kuza.
Kylie Townsend. Kingston Tucker. And Sadie Ray Tustin. Amina McDaniel, <laughs> Ali Miller, <laughs> and Zoe Murphy.
Gabrielle Harris. Kaden Hicks. Tempest Mosey. Olivia Alton. Samaria Pontu. Logan Powell. Luis Ramirez. Nehan Rafapati. Juliana Richardson. Jalen Rogers. Travis Sheffield. Jasmine Smith. I.J. Stewart. Isaiah Waterman. And Kalia Woodbury. Solid class, please stay up. Noah Barnes, <laughs> Julian Bartito. <laughs> Kayla Butler. Tyler Carter, Cynthia Chavez Hernandez, Samaya Crawford, Jada Daniels Dickpen, Javia Dolia, Gabriella Georges. Azir Hill, Jaden Hilton, Sarah Holmes, Blake Hunter, Jalen Jones, Brandon Mason. Braden McLean, <laughs> Jayana Meyer, <laughs> Ashton Patterson, Willa Penny, <laughs> Jennifer Castillo. <laughs> Aaron Rivas, Walter Shelley, Mark Tequite, Christopher Virgin Cruz, Grayson Wolf. Please stand.
Isaac Alberon. James Atkinson. <laughs> Taylor Blair. <laughs> William Boozer. <laughs> Darby Bradley. <laughs> Mariana Carden. Braden Deloach. <laughs> Talia Dugan. <laughs> Brian Fillmore. <laughs> David Garcia. Kyrie Graham. <laughs> Jayla Jackson Rice. <laughs> Anton Landers. <laughs> Taylor Lewis. Kendall Lucas, <laughs> Natro, <laughs> London, Madeline, <laughs> Jacabia, Michael. Jerry Ngewa. <laughs> Noah Odi. <laughs> Jace Quarles. <laughs> Abigail Scales. Ethan Schmidt. <laughs> Taylor Williams. <laughs> Alexis Wilson.
well. So please make sure that he gets that from her. And to our parents, thank you for tuning in virtually. And thank you for those that were invited to come. I personally want to apologize, number one, for construction. Um, I know this is a very critical time in your child's educational career. And unfortunately, because of parking, we haven't been able to really have parents in our building like we would love to. But I am so thankful for um, Tony and Sharon for working together to stream this event live so that our parents could still participate and be involved. And guess what? In less than a month, is it? You guys will be able to participate and join us in a very important time um, in your child's career. And that will be fifth grade promotion ceremony as well as Montessori bridging. So we will look forward to seeing you face to face for those opportunities at Spring Valley High School. But I just want to thank everyone for tuning in, coming out. Thank you, teachers, for giving up your time. Um, there was instructional time that you guys had to give up to make sure that today was a success. And I know how important that is to you. So thank you so much. And I hope that you all enjoy your modified, for lack of better words, field day today um, once the ceremony is over. Thank you so much and have an amazing Friday on purpose.